What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, I got my little buddy with me here, got Rocky back there, we're in the truck. Um, I'm gonna show you around the Armadillo A3 tent from 23-0 that we've been using. We've only used this one since last year. Um, ever since we started camping with him, we needed a little bit of a size up, so that's why we went with the A3. So we're gonna head up a canyon nearby and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but first we're gonna stop by Maverick, grab some snacks in case he gets hungry. Um, and then the next thing I want to do before we head up there is there's actually a scale on our way So I want to go put this truck on the scale just because I'm curious what it weighs with all the permanent weight so permanent by permanent weight I mean aftermarket wheels and tires and suspension as well as crossbars tonneau cover the armadillo a3 tent um, And then just the gear that I keep in here permanently so all the stuff in the center console stuff under the back seats and stuff that I keep in the bed of the truck um, on the molly panels and stuff. So that's like my permanent gear and I want to kind of know what the truck weighs now while there's nothing in it. Um, that way next time we go, um, we we'll load it up with all of our camping gear. I can go see how much weight we're carrying to see if we need to cut down on any weight um, to save a little bit of weight or anything. So yeah, let's go hit that first and then we'll head up the canyon and we'll show you this armadillo tent. All right, got the little man hooked up with some snacks. Now we'll head to the scales and uh, find out what this thing weighs. So I have no doubt that this truck is under its GVW by any means, because you can put different variations of slide-in campers and some other stuff um, in these full-size trucks. And it's one of the main reasons that I drive this truck um, is because it's a full-size truck with so much capacities. Um, so, but I'm just curious. I just want to know what everything weighs, mostly because I want to know what the, the gear I carry weighs as well so I should have spent more time researching this but when I looked it up just barely it says the GVW on these when they're stock is uh, 6100 to 7000 pounds so it's kind of got a thousand pound buffer in there um, so I'm going to try and figure out more exactly what this one is um, to compare it but um, about to hop on the scale let's uh, see what this thing weighs as is So I can't get a uh, clear shot of that number, so you'll just have to trust me, but it's at 6140 is what it's weighing in right now. So I had to search for a while, but I finally tracked down a more accurate spec sheet from Ford that was a little more specific to my truck. So I found out the GVW for this truck, which is the 2019 F-150 uh, with the 3.5 liter EcoBoost, the five and a half foot bed, um, XLT if I didn't mention that already um, so the GVW for that is 7,000 pounds and we weighed in at 6,140 so we have about 900 pounds before we're even at that GVW which um, like I've mentioned before is super nice about owning a full-size truck um, is is not being too worried about those limits so that was nice so part of the reason we're going where we're going is because this time of year we kind of run into the problem here in Utah where there's still too much snow in the mountains, even when it gets warm down in the valleys. And so it's really hard to find places that are one, open and have gates open, or two, are just low enough elevation where the snow is melted. So our issue right now is that all of our big places up the canyons have too much snow. And some of these lower elevation canyons have gates that are closed off till certain dates. Um, and even though the dates say a certain time, they don't always open right then. So part of the reason we're going to this place called Cup River, which we've been lots, it's one of our favorite places to go, is because the sign said April 15th it opened up. So that's one thing I want to go check before we head out for a weekend here soon to camp, is I want to make sure that we can actually get somewhere. And again, it's got to be low enough elevation that we can actually uh, find somewhere to sleep that's not just tons of snow still. Well, that's a good sign. The uh, trailhead right there is open, um, and so that means we can finally go up there camping. And luckily, uh, it's super low elevation. Well, not super low, but um, not very high like some of the other places here. So we'll be able to go there really soon. All right, got a good little spot here that I can uh, show you a few things about this tent and my thoughts on it. So before I ended up with this A3 version, which is their aluminum uh, is what that stands for, I had a few of their other ones and I had a their Walkabout 62. 
So that's just like their standard like canvas top one, the ones that are soft, a soft top. Um, and it was like a size of a queen bed and it was awesome. They're just take a little bit more time for setup and takedown is all. And then the next one I went to, um, when it opened up, it was about the size of a full XL. And it was the Armadillo, so it was also an Armadillo, but it was the Armadillo X2. Um, the, the two means it's the smaller one. Um, and, and like I said, it was about the size of a full XL. Um, and it was awesome, and it was a plastic hard top rather than this one being, this one's aluminum. Um, the plastic, ABS plastic, was still really durable and strong. Um, it doesn't give you any mounting options like you have on the aluminum, um, but that was also a great tent. The, only, the main reason I switched to this one was mostly the size, so I just up to the A3 rather than an A2 so that I could have a king size bed. We just needed a little bit more room. If you have a full size truck, um, you should be able to fit this tent. The one thing that just drives me bonkers because of my OCD for no reason is that it overhangs just a little bit. So you can tell it, it still kind of lines up with my bumper. So by the time you go down to the bumper, it doesn't really hang out past that, but it's just barely longer than my tailgate um, and it doesn't cause any issues like you can still work out of the tailgate just fine and it's not really a problem and it's not really in your way um, but it is just a little bit annoying that it doesn't just sit a little more flush and that's just because the sizing is just a little bit off i kind of wish they made a tent that was like right in the middle between the a2 and the a3 um, that would fit a little bit better on the five and a half foot beds. My brother has an F-150 as well. He has the six and a half foot bed and this obviously fits easy on his truck. He has the same same tent um, and it fits just a little bit better on that six and a half, but totally doable on the five and a half as well. And then the nice thing about this uh, aluminum version is you actually have some mounting options. What I was able to do is I was did an Apache case from Harbor Freight. Uh, so just a knockoff Pelican case that I keep some stuff in. And then I do some max tracks on this side just for some recovery. So this case has been pretty slick. It just gives you some extra storage options. So just a few latches there. And then if I hop up here, that just opens up and I just keep some various stuff in here. Um, some stuff for some jumper cables, some soft shackles, toe straps, a shovel. That was for the winter. Um, and then those are the RV leveling blocks that are sometimes nice to use to level the truck if you don't have rocks in your campsite. I also just personally think the aluminum looks a little bit better, so it just kind of looks good. Um, I used to not keep my tent on through the winter. This one I kept on all winter and the powder coating on it just looks amazing still like it's new. Um, and I do like the aesthetics of having stuff on top as well. So. I think that happens to look good as well, which is a bonus. All right, you're gonna have to bear with me on this one. I've got the kid with me and I forgot my tripod, but we're still gonna make this work. So you just undo the latches right here and this will kind of show whether or not this is simple or not because I have to hold a kid the whole time. And then you just grab this handle. Push up the top of it like that. And then there are some bungees right here those bungees just help pull the fabric back in when you're closing the tent. So that makes it so you don't have fabric spilling out the side when you're trying to close it. So once those bungees are out of the way, you can pull the ladder out like this, tilt it up, and then pull it out. And then these ladders, these telescoping ladders have gotten really good the last few years. And so you can just adjust them really to any height you need so that you can, uh, depending on what kind of ground you're on, you can still get into it really easy. All right, buddy, you wanna go up in there? You wanna go in the tent? So I was planning on showing you a little bit more around this tent tonight, um, but a dedicated review on that, on that tent is gonna have to wait a little bit longer because this guy is just too active and I should have brought more help. Um, but I was on babysitting duty tonight and I didn't bring tripods or anything. So I'll get you a better video of that tent soon. Rocky and I are just going to keep exploring. We're going to go up the canyon here and uh, see if we can find some good spots to go here in the next few weeks. He likes rivers now, so we had to come take a break and see the river.
All right, let's head up this canyon and scout out a few spots for the next few weekends. So this is one of the spots we like to go to a lot. Um, and there's still like huge piles of snow, but it's uh, open enough to work, I guess, and it's not really that cold out here. So um, I think we'll start heading up this way soon. Um, I'm not sure where everyone else lives, but it's a little bit tricky this time of year trying to find spots since there's just so much snow in our mountains, um, even without that crazy of a snow year. But yeah, this will be cool. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we're gonna get headed back now. Um, if you have kids, you understand that it is totally dependent on whatever their mood is and stuff on how things go and uh, we won't be able to explore as much as I thought we would be able to because it's uh, now like his bedtime even though it's like seven o'clock so we're gonna get headed back but it's just good to know that this is open we can finally get out here soon so again thanks for hanging out and watching the video today catch you next time